In this video, Kevin and I are going to be trying the Simple Truth Apple Crumble Blossoms and the Triple Berry Blossoms. These were $3.99 at Kroger. So, the, you buy these in the frozen department and we will talk about them before we review them. But I'm just going to get to the baking part right now because um, I'm just going to show you what they look like and we're going to bake them. You can microwave them. So, if you want to microwave them, you can for 50 to 60 seconds. No problem. We're going to do it in the oven because I have the time and the opportunity and I think anytime you have the time you should cook it in the oven it's always going to be better so you preheat your oven to 350 you remove blossoms from wrapping place blossoms on baking sheet in the middle of the oven bake for 15 to 20 minutes or until center is warm and that is the same way for both of these so I want to go ahead and get this going for 15 or 20 minutes you get two blossoms in the box so, we're just going to make one. I'm going to keep the other one in here. So, this one is going to be the apple crumble. And I have, I put parchment paper on my baking sheet. It didn't say to do that, but I did it because I'm lazy and I don't want to have to wash the pan when I'm finished. That's why. And so, now we're doing the triple berry blossoms. And you can tell, you can see the difference between the apple crumble and the berry as you can see that berry so let me do this there we go so i'm gonna get this in the oven i'll probably do it for like 17 minutes and then we'll be back this is how they look out of the oven straight out of the oven i'm gonna let them sit for a few minutes to cool off but there's the um, apple and then this is the berry so we're gonna try the triple berry blossoms first. They, uh, there's a lot of berry goodness going on in these. There's apples, blueberries, blackberries, raspberries, and cinnamon wrapped in a flaky pastry. One blossom, 114 grams, is 320 calories. If you eat both of them out of the box, they're um, 640 calories. So, and uh, simple truth, if I didn't say, is a Kroger brand. So. I did allow it to cool, but there's a lot of a um, berry going on in there, isn't there? There's a lot going on, that's for Yes. Good. Make sure I get plenty of filling. This taste so familiar. Here's like a toaster strudel. So it tastes like to me. Without the frosting. Yeah, you don't have the frosting, but I like the texture of the pastry itself. Mm -hmm. It's good. It, um, it's a little soggy bottomish. Got a little wet right. on the inside. Right. I think so too because because they put uh, so much on the inside, it did tend to, to have a little bit of a soggy bottom, but it, um, I still like the flavor of it. Mm -hmm. And I was Pleasure. worried about when it said cinnamon, I was worried about uh, being over powerful. Honestly, I didn't even taste the I cinnamon. I didn't really taste cinnamon either. There's so much berry going on there. Yeah, there's a lot of berry. That, yeah. Uh, I, I can understand where that would remind you of a toaster strudel yep, just true. because of the flaky pastry. Yeah, and then the fruit kind of reminds me of, uh, of the of the inside, fruit the inside of, and, of yeah. a toaster strudel. Yeah. You want me to read that? Or? Yeah, you read it. Okay. Right. These are the apple crumble blossoms. They're ripe apples, oats, brown sugar, butter, and cinnamon wrapped in a flaky pastry. These are. Um, 10 fewer calories. They're 310 calories each or 620 for both. No, take the first bite. So oats and brown cinnamon, apples, all that sounds very good. Okay. Yeah, it looks like uh, definitely has some oats in there. You can see it on top. I like a little sugary crunchy on the outside of the pastry. I do too. Um, my problem is with the sogginess of the inside. Mm -hmm. It's a very yeah. soggy. It's like they, they didn't 
bake it to where it sealed it in. Mm -hmm. So you get all that fruit uh, soaking into it. Right. Yeah. Agree. It's, it's, it's like they didn't inside. blind bake their pastry. Yeah, it's very wet inside. Because, yeah, when you blind bake your pastry, that sets up your pastry so that when you put the fruit in there, it shouldn't get soggy like that. And it the, did. And the whole insides. And, um, yeah, the soggy. whole inside. Yeah, it's not, so it's not just the the middle of that in the middle of that pastry it's actually the apple part it's just yeah, it's the sides the petal parts are really it's wet. um yes it's it's like a goopy mess in there it is kind of goopy yeah it really is it's not it's kind of it's kind of pasty mm -hmm. and I had the same thing with the fruit one the flavor of the apple isn't um as terrific as I would have liked. We've had some really great like apple pie filling. That's what I'd hoped for was an apple pie filling and you could taste more of that cinnamon. I didn't taste um, very, very little once again of cinnamon in that at all. Um, but it, it's just the whole the whole texture was off and you didn't get a, a really <coughs> nice apple flavor. Yeah, I see, I did. I put, I, it had a good flavor. See, I got, I got a oats. huge hunk of apples. I, got, I didn't. I got the oats and I mean, I got apple, but just what I had did not, it did not remind me of apple pie. Uh, it, it did, the filling did it remind did. me of apple pie. Uh, maybe you just got less filling than I did because I got a ton of it in mine. And um, well, yeah, that's basically of, what I did. Kind of in the corner. Yeah, I, I took a whole corner of the blossom. Um, my problem is though the texture of the inside of that pastry is very um, wet and goopy. Mm -hmm. Well, you can see it right here. The the inside. Of this I pastry, just don't care for that. The, which the inside of the pastry me. is like wet inside. Yeah, there. I expected for that one to be my favorite, and it's not. If I, I was actually gonna, like the berry one better. Yeah, if I was gonna buy one again, I would buy the berry. I would. Personally, probably pass on both of these just because they are kind of a they're kind of a soggy mess on the inside. Yeah, they are. They really I'd rather really have are. a custard shirt if I was going to eat something. Well, I would rather have a just a, a baked pie, and I think that's yeah, like this tart. flavor. Yeah, I think I said that re this sound is that flavor is so familiar to me. I think I'm just thinking of a, a berry a pie, just a basic pie that you would buy, and I would much rather have that because. It, it bakes more evenly, and even on the inside, it bakes more evenly than in this this blossom. I just did not care for it. And some people will comment, uh, because they do, that, okay, well, you left it in for uh, 17 minutes, you didn't leave it in for the full 20 minutes. Would that have helped? No, because all that's going to do is it's going to start to scorch this pastry. It was perfectly cooked. The pastry was perfectly yeah, cooked. And it was plenty warm enough on the inside. Yes. It's just, it truly, it just, the way that uh, they, they put so much in there, it was just gooey. So it just didn't work for us. So the berry one was the better of the two, but I would honestly pass on that. Uh, unless you don't mind a little goopy. Kroger has better <laughs> goopy, desserts, better goopy. desserts. If you don't mind goopy pastry on the inside, then you're fine with it. I think the flavor of both of them was okay. Mm -hmm. But um, if you, yeah, I, I didn't like the texture of them. So. Yeah. So I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.